Would- and now for our weekly news segment. Hello, Tony. Hey, guys. How's it going, What's my up, friend? Tony? I just came back from Miami Hack Week, and when I said that I just came back, I think I, you just came back. I just came back. Like I, I didn't sleep at all. <laughs> you're insane. Why do you always do that? I think you did that for the conference too. I remember you're like, I have to work in the morning. We were hanging out outside after cleaning up, and he I went know. straight to work. I think the next day. Tony, you're an animal. You are an animal. Well, How was- more- oh my god! Honestly, uh, life changing. Wow. Honestly, no life changing. <laughs> no, honestly, it was incredible. Incredible. My voice went down a couple yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. We can see that because you were you were talking so much, I guess, right? Oh my god, and it was so loud. And um, yeah, yesterday we displayed the projects, which I'm gonna show you because it's kind of more when they are related a little bit. Well, I made it when they're related. But, um, <laughs> and yeah, then we celebrated, we partied, and then I came back a couple hours ago. And <laughs> you're gonna go take a nice nap after this, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> well, I'll see because I'm, I'm feeling okay. okay. But um, overall. A really cool conference everybody's into hacking and whatever and then I, I was asking them do you know monero and most of them do know monero uh not a lot of people know about the conference so then i told them oh you know monero talk you know monero talk yeah you should come um <laughs> and uh, some people are interested and if oh my god so i was giving giving away monero to people and uh then i posted on twitter and one guy said hey can you send me some too i sent him some Second guy, third guy, fourth guy, fifth guy, and he turned into like <laughs> he turned into a giveaway, and I was like, okay, <laughs> that's hilarious. And then uh, one more thing, and then we'll actually get into the news because uh, it's pretty funny. Um, somehow I got into a boat in Miami with people <laughs> from Wall Street, and crazy, crazy, right? This is a and, boating accident. This is a boating accident. <laughs> boating accident. Well, people were, you know, we were they were drinking and they're almost falling. So yeah, boating accidents. Um, yeah, one guy from Wall Street knows about Monero. Another guy I was talking, um, some crazy business. And then I said, do you know Monero? He said, yeah, of course. I, thought, I really love Monero. And then I said, oh, I'll, I'll send you something Cake Wallet. And he said, oh, I love Cake Wallet. I'm using Cake Pay. I'm using Cake Wallet. So um, awesome. Really amazing. Really amazing. Um, Spread the Monero word. Good job. Were, were you giving out your referral code, Tony? Tony. <laughs> well, Tony for tickets. Tony for tickets. <laughs> Tony for, yeah. It's pretty cool that I have my own code. Uh, I tried. <laughs> I tried, you know, and, and I got people co- people's contact. So, oh, we did. Yeah, we built. Let me show you. Okay, so this thing, it's like uh, it's using Chat GPT, which we'll talk about, and it's making a um, a video based uh, story. So I said, okay, story about Monero conference that will happen in Mexico with Doug and Sunita, and it's making it kind of horror. So Doug and Sunita were attending the Monero conference. What is this? It was a world attending event, but something fell off. A monster growl. The sky was dark and oppressive. What is this? I don't true? know. And then it makes images and it actually makes like a video. So oh. wait, what is this? I'm sorry. He's so using an AI. They oh. us. Yeah. Oh, someone hilarious. built this in a week. Oh, cool. Very cool. And then someone made an AI mayor for Miami. This is completely generated. This guy does not exist. He even has a voice. <laughs> And, That's creepy. Um, <laughs> and he he's probably better than uh, most politicians we currently have in office. <laughs> well, I, I got hashtag incorporate Monero from him because I asked him about Monero and Kickwall. Yeah, my see. vote. Yeah, Should you asked... power the economy. Yeah, yeah. And he said, "Thanks for your suggestion. Um, I'm interested in exploring how Monero could potentially benefit Miami." And then I asked him about cake wallet but i can't see and so then it you said you keep having a convo with them there about monero yeah you can uh, yeah he's auto, re- he's auto replying to everything in the beginning he was talking to to himself but now it's better <laughs> 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 but if you if you tweet if you tweet at him and ask him any question you want like how is the monero topia conference gonna be or whatever yeah. he's gonna answer so awesome. now let's get into Actual the new section. Ask him if he thinks it's a good idea that we move Monerotopia from Miami to uh to Mexico, to Mexico City. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna say no. No, come back. No, we're like come back. back. Come back. Um, but yeah, so actually good introduction to Chad GPT. Uh David Knight um has a show and he talked about AI joining the propaganda war. Um, because well, Chad GPT is being trained on the internet and the internet is biased, right? 
So well, I think the fear is that the actual algorithms behind it are biased. That's the that's the deeper fear. Right, right. So you know, he talks about it, and then um, um, I have two screenshots which he did include in the in the video. If you want to check it out, uh, one um, ChatGPT made a poem about Trump, and then about uh, Biden. So the Trump one, something goes along the line. Trump, a name that once resounded with power, wealth, and fame profound. He rose to fame, a business king. His ambitions and, he, and his ego both took wing. And <laughs> just keeps going. And then Biden, a man with a heart of gold, mm. with a voice that's said and bold, a leader who strives for unity, with a vision for a brighter community. It's it's really telling and really crazy because, I mean, if, if AI is going to run, essentially run the, the world in the background, and that's where everybody's going to be getting all their information. I mean, obviously, everybody's already getting skewed information. But now if it's all coming from some AI where you could just, you know, in the background, tweak the algorithm at will to basically manipulate the entire population at large, that's okay. scary stuff. Yep. That's propaganda on steroids. Oh uh, you know so yes this is this is uh this is where we're headed i don't i don't know how that gets solved i don't know how Mine you know monero solves that problem well I'm, I'm not sure but almost a lot of the projects actually from the conference were using chat G gpt as an api um, mm -hmm. a lot of them so yeah it's uh it's scary it's not good you know um he's faced challenges both big and small <laughs> i don't even I don't okay. I I don't like both of them, but I'm gonna say I don't even think that he <laughs> sees the challenges. Crazy. He's a puppet. Um, next thing, let's talk about Lasso, a natural language search engine for on-chain data, right? So you can say what are the top five uh wallets that have the most amount of Bitcoin and it's gonna list them. Uh it can't do that to Monero, no results for Monero. And this leads me to a story from um I went to the Solana store in Miami and I was talking to this one guy, they had a party at Solana. We're talking what do you work uh elliptic i was like okay hmm. so we talked about what he can track his lights his eyes were lighting up he can track this and that and you know he likes the job and you know that's awesome and then i said i had to ask him so what about monero <laughs> and then he didn't even wait and he said yeah we can't track that one it's impossible we can't and he likes it too i think he said he likes it you, you have his contact <laughs> he, you got to reach out to maybe get somebody from uh their company on the show love to Oh, uh, I, I, I have to I have to look. I have to look. Chain but I got some really good contacts. I got the contact of you know Galaxy. What's Galaxy? Which guy? It's a crypto bank essentially. Oh, okay. But they accept minimum like a million dollar checks. It's not yeah, it's like high end. But I met the guy that works there. So cool. And I told him about the conference and he was interested. <laughs> did did they hold Monero crypto bank? I don't think I got to ask him. <laughs> come on, yeah. you're slacking here. <laughs> come on, I just trying to mess. If if I show you my Monero com and all my transactions, wait a second. Look, guys. <gasps> and it keeps going. I sent a lot. Oh wow. 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 I tried to let anybody everybody know. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That's awesome. At the conference. Um, yeah, now let's talk about something that is not really awesome, which is a Lebanon devaluing its currency by 90%. I have a friend from Lebanon, uh, and in 2019, things really took a toll. Uh, the old rate was um, 15.07 for one pound, um, but now it's to 15,000. So it's a devaluation of 90% starting February 1st, um, which is really hor horrible. Uh, and then we saw in the past in other episodes that should, you should definitely look into, um, that the uh, banks were essentially not even giving them their money from the bank. So, and they have, they have a five-year plan essentially in which they plan to uh, reconstitute the losses and you know help people, I, I guess. But we'll see, I don't think so. Is, is crypto taken off there? I have no insight. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, gotta, yes. It's, it's gotta be like kind of an Argentina type situation over there where there's people using crypto for behind the scenes, right? Yes. Um, I forgot which ones, but it wasn't, it wasn't even Bitcoin. I forgot which one. I think some Binance, Binance, uh, 
Yeah. I don't think I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but on P, uh, P2P, uh, P2P pool, uh, version 3.0, hard fork, March 18th. Awesome. 21 UTC updated, lots of uh, cool stuff. Um, small yeah, we're trying to get him on. Yeah, yeah we'll have to, we had him on when P2 pool first came out. We'll have to have him on. Yeah, There's you wrote back. Updates being made. Oh, cool. Very cool. So we're awesome. We should definitely and now that we finally got our custom made Monero miner, which is our cpu that we're using for our show now we finally oh, nice. a year got nice. not, not because it could just be to have the time to sit down and like hook everything up and get it all we finally got it up and running so uh we'll have to update our p2 pool and have him on it'll be yeah maybe we can try to get on finally be awesome. like actually doing the right thing here nice. <laughs> as, as during the interview but like so this is what you do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Hold on, <what's> hypothetically <laughs> if somebody didn't know what the hell they were doing what <laughs> that, it helps <laughs> but see for the new people you can run a podcast and the podcast is gonna make you monero because <laughs> you know or whatever you do is gonna because it's cpu based you don't need an asic so oh yeah yeah You're doing two exactly. things at the same time so Not just uh a, a monero miner no it's a actually fantastic computer yeah but let's talk about something really really cool and interesting if you go on twitter and you put your monero, monero address in your description um then people can send you monero at your tweet handle yes i know i i spoke <laughs> i i don't want to be that guy but so you I did, are I that did guy tell vic this a couple of years ago uh, in fact, I even sent him a screenshot. I was like, hey, yeah, we <laughs> talked about this. I have pitched you on this concept. Uh, but he, he figured it out, which is awesome. It's beautiful. I love it. It's great. Um, yeah. Now, is that being done in like a lot of other wallets and cryptos now? Or is this kind of novel overall? Other than this and the yacht, I uh, I don't know. Yeah. So for those who don't really, so you could go into, you can go into cake wallet or Monero.com wallet. Um, and I could, you know, you could put at Douglas Tuman um, as as the send address, and yep. if I and if I have uh, a Monero address in my Twitter description, it's gonna scrape it and pick it up, and it will detect that mm -hmm. and it'll auto you know auto send to that address. That's pretty awesome. cool. So yeah, that's really see, awesome. You can now send effectively send <clears throat> to Twitter addresses. I was it's telling Vic it'd be very cool if there was a way where they could essentially make it for any Twitter address. So for people who haven't even added a Monero address yet, and it would kind of send it there on hold, and then only somebody with that Twitter address would then be able to unlock the funds there. So you can onboard people uh, to Monero before they even uh, are up and running on Cake. You know what I'm saying? So I guess like you would go on your Cake wallet, and then it's gonna say pending, uh, make a Monero. Yeah, you, you would get an auto tweet at message like someone just sent you a Monero tip to collect it. You know, download. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, that that'd be very cool for onboarding. Yeah. So yeah. You start sending. You can start sending Monero tips to anybody, even if they're not yep. up and running it. Yep. And it can be like in an escrow. And if they uh, reject, then it's gonna go back to you. Very cool stuff. Uh, very cool stuff. Then they added Burmese, a Turkish, Thai, and Arabic. I'm not sure if it has a uh, Romanian, but um, <laughs> if you're watching, Dick, <laughs> um, if you're watching, I'd be happy to to help. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is how it looks like uh, for the people watching or listening on Twitter. Uh, I'm just showing uh, the Monero.com um, Twitter account, and if you go in the description, you can see how it is. You you, you just paste your um, on their address and it's gonna do that automatically and then yeah did you uh, did you do you have a monero address on yours yet yeah yeah i, I, I did it for yeah i deleted mine because oh shit let me see if i oh, can cool. wait i gotta yep so one sec you gotta sink it sink it a never-ending story <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, just God. I, forgot I, I forgot about that you gotta put the monero toby a banner up there <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you know what's funny about that until you do that? So my friend was gonna DJ at uh it was part of the Miami Hack Week, but I guess Solana was sponsoring the party on the rooftop. Then my friend said, Can you guys give me like a hat and a banner of Solana? So you know. And I said, Um, not a hat, we'll give you like a towel. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a towel. <laughs> you got a towel, yeah. But what I did get from Monero Topia, and I still have. What is your Twitter? Oh, really? uh, really? That's hysterical. Look at you parting it up. 
Yeah, that looks fun, man. I know. What is your Twitter? It's at Tony a- underscore a- H U S Z A R. I'm Hungarian. Yeah, and, um, Romanians hate Hungarians and Hungarians hate uh, Romanians. It's a lovely story. Uh, mine's not detecting you right now. It could be that I don't I have to upload update. Oh, you my, have to update probably my, my cake wallet. All right, potential. Mm, sure. Did you put yours? Oh no. Well, we don't have no. Mine didn't have detect you. They gotta update mine. Okay, let's. Uh, I will try. Whatever. Yeah, so. Try it works. But yeah, I'll, I'll send you some Monero to reimburse you for handing out all that Monero. Know. We'll, we'll we'll contribute to that. Well, I was gonna go back to contributing, so yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll send you some Monero for all that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank man. you. Um, now I have two CBDC stories, and whenever I look over CBDC stories, I always go back to LibertyCon and the conversation that we had with one lady that did not believe in CBDCs and that they're not coming. But look at how many news we have. Um, so Montenegro uh, central bank teams up with Ripple uh, for the pilot project. They expect to have it, up, I think, by 2025. Which is interesting is that um, they are Montenegro is using the euro, but they're not part of the eurozone which uses the euro. For example, Romania is not part of the eurozone, so we use our own currency. And um, they're also not a European member, which I thought they were. And they applied in 2008, so been a long time, and I guess they're still not accepted, but they work with Ripple. And um, yeah, so they're looking into CBDC, and uh, they're definitely into crypto. Vitalik has been, Vitalik uh, Buterin has been to a conference in Monty. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's Ripple that's behind a lot of these central bank digital coin projects, including the uh, the U.S. digital dollar project, which might yes. end up being what the CD where the CBDC comes from in the U.S. I mean, mm-hmm. there's competing projects, but that that's interesting. That one and Algorand is powering a couple of countries. Mm-hmm. Um, CBDC uh, for Kazakhstan's uh, it's actually Binance that's powering their digital currency, which is in pilot stage. Uh, they've been working on it since 2000. And 20, that's when a lot of them um, started. Um, so yeah, they're working on it as well. They want to to have CBDC. Now, <laughs> let's talk about Bitcoin ordinals. Story um, of the week. The story of the week. We're really interesting. Um, so essentially, Bitcoin ordinal is you ins- inscribe um, an NFT, as far as I understand, to uh, the Satoshi transaction, right? That is on chain. And that makes it even more more visible and more, uh, not transparent because it's already transparent, but just more visible. So essentially people can assign NFTs to, to Bitcoin. And of course people- uh, Yeah, and they, they could digitally store the nft image in the bitcoin blockchain in the segregated yes. witness which is crazy which is crazy uh, which is fine I, I i'm not i'm not you know obviously i have no uh i, th- I think it's monero i mean with monero i think it's bitcoin finally uh you know it's maybe it's it's finding a better use case here right? <laughs> it's, it's, not calling. Work, it's not working well <laughs> yeah. it yeah. is ultimately uh an nf you know nft generator uh it's pretty interesting so people are now storing JPEGs on the Bitcoin blockchain. And so there's there's ordinals and then there's ins it was yeah, it's called inscriptions. Inscriptions are the actual the, the NFTs. Um and then ordinals, my my simplified understanding of it is it's basically uh associating a unique serial number with each Satoshi. Mm-hmm. And, giving away uh, of, of organizing Satoshis, wherein every Satoshi is essentially uniquely labeled. Um, and then so the right. argu- argument in Bitcoin is, well, that doesn't make it not fun. Satoshis are still fundamentally fungible. It's just that there's this, you know, way of organize like you can using this thing, you can create essentially serial numbers on top of each Satoshi, but it's not really part of the satoshi satoshis are uniquely fun it's it's they're still trying to argue fungibility which is like crazy like so because the pra- practically speaking uh if ordinals takes off mm-hmm. and i guess that if you want to go to the next story i know you had you had it there 
um, uh, the, the, the concern is that it's basically going to uh, open everyone's eyes to how effectively how non fungible Bitcoin can be if you start labeling each Satoshi with a unique serial number. Mm -hmm. And you know, people are going to catch wind of this regulators are going to catch wind of this, they're going to like it, it's going to tie into the number go up, right? Oh, it's even more traceable than, than we thought. Mm -hmm. And it's going to effectively become part of the Bitcoin culture and get adopted. And because the the people that 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 really care about the cypherpunk ideology and the digital cash, true digital cash nature, you know, that's the core early group Bitcoin, but the number go up group, uh, unfortunately, I think has more political will in the space. And I think something like this is going to politically align more with that. So I think you're going to see this really take off. And I think you're going to see it lead to Bitcoin being less fungible than ever. And people yeah. understanding that and starting to use it in that way, including governments uh, mm -hmm. really beginning to understand the, the lack of fungibility in Bitcoin, which they already do, but even to a higher degree. I just wonder if Satoshi is alive or if he's dead, he's definitely rolling in his grave. This is knowing that people, uh, he created Bitcoin and now people are making anus nfts on bitcoin <laughs> which is well, yeah, that, the that's the story right so somebody i guess first this is the first like controversial image that's been inscribed into bitcoin immutable um, permanently there. immutable permanently saved on the blockchain and then so the 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 website that the viewer <laughs> of these ordinals that's they've great. actually decided to censor it which you know now granted they're not bitcoin uh, they're just a, a kind of a, a viewer. Um, so they didn't, they didn't want to up there, <laughs> but it already shows like these guys, you know, uh, re when reality hits, uh, they're already censoring. Uh, but bl the blockchain itself can't censor unless mm -hmm. the miners, you know, unless we get to that point. So that that's really where, you know, things are going to get interesting because if people start to save uh, very controversial things on but is believed to be an immutable ledger. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does the government step in in that regard and start telling miners that they can't process these transactions? Right. Like, uh, a, a picture of a of a of an anus is one thing, but what if it's very valuable U.S. you know information? You know. Wow. Well, you know, what, what if it's like you know how to, how to build a nuclear nuclear weapon, right? And somebody's you know, putting it up there. Right, the government is going to require that 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 somehow gets removed, and there's going there is a means to do that, which is the government basically influencing and mandating that the miners do so. I mean, this is a cra I don't think it's that crazy of a hypothetical, right? And I'm just curious. I'd love to talk more about. We were talking about this. We had a great show on it this week on Monero Talk. We yeah. had uh, with our guest, it led to this conversation and we ended up talking about it. Alexander Schmidt. Uh, with Al Alexander Schmidt. And we had a lot of other people chime <clears> in. <throat> Q and today. A, I recommend for those. Check, that out. Yeah. Um, check it out for sure. I, I can't get enough of this ordinal thing because I think it's just really interesting. And, and what it does is it really starts to separate Monero and Bitcoin in terms of how they're different. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm personally, I'll look more into it, but I'm not a fan of it. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Just look at the NFTs that have been produced so far what is this <laughs> monsters what is that well, I mean, yeah, these monsters. are the early cases right people can use it for whatever they want i mean there is you know potentially some there's going to be real real use cases there um right but it's definitely eating away at monero's use case as digital cash it's just bitcoins kind of, uh, i'm sorry bitcoins bitcoins, bitcoins. <gasps> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> not monero guys don't <laughs> <monero. Yeah. laughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, and like you said, that's a very good point. I mean, if it's immutable, so they can put, uh, you know, uh, secret data or you know, whatever, and it's there forever. So forever, forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but people are actually concerned about um, about this. And someone someone wrote, Waxwing wrote. It's precisely the kind of drivel that the state actors want to hear. It tells them that we can perfectly identify the origin of money, so we can block and control what we want. The Ordinals project, even if its creator perfectly understands that the assignation 
of serial numbers is arbitrary, an X protocol is, if it becomes popular, going to embed in the minds of politicians and other idiots that we can perfectly trace the history of your Bitcoins, but it can't be uh, prevented. Exactly. That's that's what I've been screaming from the top of my lungs. <laughs> I think this guy <laughs> hit it on the head and he's, you know, he's a, he's a, I think he's a, he's a BTC dev, right? Um, so it's, mm. that's, that's how it's going to be interpreted, guys. Um, yeah. We'll see how it plays out. For sure. Uh, but that was it for this week. That okay. is all the news. Awesome, man. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you so much. Of you course. You the bomb, Tony. You the bomb. And we'll move on to uh, <laughs> 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 we have patiently been waiting. I know. Thank you so much, Tony. <laughs> Tony, right. we'll see you in the chat. You and, we'll see you in the chat. If yeah. you don't pass out before that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm okay. I'll hit you once. I was going to mention, um, guys, the links are in the descri in description if you want to um read the links by yourself so thank you tony awesome Just thank that. you tony okay. Adios. Oh, wait, tony did you did you meet with the guy that's getting the mural is that where you part mm, of? No, no 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 I don't think, no the guy's not there yet oh okay, okay. i yeah. think he's gonna meet with uh, arturo in like one hour yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. one so, hour like today i think or yeah, today i think yeah yeah, yeah, yeah today yeah. okay so cool. yeah you never met him but art did so i'll know. be talking to art <laughs> uh, that mural that's that crazy. mural that's a whole yeah it's all other talk show <laughs> so for people that don't know quick mention uh this huge thing no we we, we, we already that, yeah. we already yeah. mentioned yeah. it earlier yeah. in the show yeah. it's it's on its way up from my or it will be on its way up soon from miami yeah. we're paying the guy in monero to drive it up here he's on a mission he's on a mission <laughs> It's crazy. Tony was willing to do the it too, story. I was like, yeah, and to go on a plane. He's gonna rent the van. <laughs> we were gonna go on a plane with it, but Delta didn't like it. And <laughs> <laughs> so, oh God, this but, mural. It's gonna be know. behind us soon. Yeah. So the story will always be with us. I'm <laughs> looking got, forward to it. All right. Yeah. Bye, Tony. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye. Adios.